I live in Amsterdam for one year and in this video I'm going to tell you all about my experience. Let's roll the intro. Disclaimer, I'm a Dutch person so I lived here my whole life. This experience might be different compared to an expat. I'm speaking from a black woman experience and I feel like this also plays a role about how you experience a certain mindset and culture. Let's start with the things I like. And the first thing I really like is the economy. The Netherlands gives you many opportunities. If you don't have a job, there's like a way to get some money from the government. And although there are some holes in the government, in general, they are doing a really great job. Another thing I really like is the bike culture. The first thing you notice in Amsterdam is that there are many, many, many bikes. And I love that. It makes people exercise and sometimes faster to go by bike than by car. This is one of the things I miss since I moved abroad. I really miss my bike. Another thing I really like is different communities. No matter what community you want to be part of, there is one community for it. You can find them on Mita, for example. Think about the LGBT community, skate community, the creatives community. There are so many different communities. It might be a little bit more easy to find your kind of people, if you look hard enough. Another thing I really like is the variety of things to do. Museums, film festivals, you name it. There are so many things in Amsterdam, like every day there's something to do. I come from a really small city called Beefwijk and we had not much to do. So for me it was like an eye-opener that there were so many things to do. Another thing I really like is the public transport. Like, I don't want to brag, but I still think that the Netherlands has one of the best public transport in Europe. Wherever you want to go to, you can go to there. Especially in Amsterdam, the public transport is amazing. If you miss a tram, like 10 minutes later, there's another one. This is what I really loved about Amsterdam. Like I said, I come from a small city, and when you miss the bus, you have to wait for 30 minutes. Another thing I like about Amsterdam is the safety. Of course, at night, I felt a little bit unsafe because the drunk people and the stoned people. In general, I felt really safe in Amsterdam. Another thing I really like about Amsterdam and the Netherlands in general is that we made prostitution and drugs legal. I do none of them, but I think it's really important that we make it legal. Because when it's illegal, people are doing it anyways. So it's better that the government can see what's happening to make sure that people are safe with what they're doing. Another thing I like are the supermarkets. I currently live in the UK and one thing I noticed is that the Netherlands has a lot more to offer speaking about cheese and other products. And to be honest, I really miss the Dutch supermarkets. You can find everything in a Dutch supermarket. Now I'm going to talk about what I dislike. I have a lot of things I liked about Amsterdam, but it's just not the city for me. I didn't really feel happy. I didn't feel like it was my kind of city. So in this section, I'm going to talk why I moved abroad. The first reason is discrimination. Although I think it's much worse in other countries, there is still discrimination. You can see it in the beauty standards. You can see it at our holiday called Sinterklaas, where we still support blackface which I don't understand, like after years, why are we supporting a holiday with blackface? Like, I think this holiday shows that we're not like as open-minded as we think. Growing up in the Netherlands, I always felt discrimination. And I have to admit, it's a bit less in Amsterdam than compared to my own city, which was like a smaller city. But still, I don't know, I feel like those people act like they're like open-minded, but we have a lot of discrimination going on. And to be honest, I'm not the biggest target as a black woman. I think the biggest targets are like the Arabics, especially Muslim looking people, because those people in general, they don't like Islam. And it's always a fight and discrimination towards those people. So I hope in the future, the Netherlands will become better at this. But believe me, they can be really ignorant and we have a lot of discrimination going on. Some Dutch people would never call me Dutch, even though I live here my whole life, because I'm not white. And so this is one of the biggest reasons I moved abroad. I didn't really feel happy as a black person. And it might be personal opinion, but I feel more comfortable as a black person in the UK than in the Netherlands. Another thing I don't like about Amsterdam or Netherlands in general is no variety in landscape. Most thing you see is beautiful cities and beautiful parks. There are no mountains or other things than parks and city. For example, in the UK, we have a beautiful mountain area, we have beautiful cities, we have beautiful lakes, we have everything. I feel like Netherlands is quite, I wouldn't say boring, but like if you've been to a few cities, you wouldn't be surprised by all the cities because they all look the same, in my honest opinion. Another thing I didn't like about Amsterdam is that it feels like it's mainly about parties. I lived in Amsterdam in the COVID times, and even then, people were always talking about parties. This might be, again, a personal opinion, but I feel like whenever I went to meetups or just went social, like the topics always ended up in parties, drugs, and those kind of things. I have to admit, I don't drink and I don't do drugs. So when people start to talk about these topics, I have nothing to relate to. But I noticed like almost everyone kept talking about it, like which drugs did they use? Uh, what kind of drinks do they drink? 
and I feel like it became a little bit boring after a while because some people may part in their personality. Well, it's not really a personality, it's something you do. And to be honest, I don't want to offend somebody, but some people call it a hobby, but I don't think it's a hobby. And this brings me to the next thing I don't like, is that friendships work differently. I don't know why, but friendship in Amsterdam means like a party friend. So if you have friends in Amsterdam, I felt like the main purpose is to give people party. If there's no party, you definitely won't see those friends again. I think so many people were lonely in COVID times because they realized they didn't really have real friends. There were no parties, so there were no friends anymore. And I feel that really sucks. I asked some of the people I met and many people said it's really hard for them to actually make genuine friends in Amsterdam. And I can see where they're coming from. Also, I, I felt like it was really hard to make real and genuine friends in Amsterdam because everyone is more focused on themselves and more focused on the parties and like what's happening in the moment. But when it's done, then they disappear. Another thing is the mainstream thrift stores. I love thrift stores. I think the UK is one of the best thrift stores ever and I'm really grateful for that. But Amsterdam, I don't know what happened, but everything is so boring. Like they sell the same kind of stuff. They know what's trendy and they fill the thrift stores with this trendy thing. If you want to do thrift shopping in the Netherlands, I recommend to go to other cities because in general, I didn't got a good impression about Amsterdam thrift stores. Another thing I don't like is how it's known by tourism. Like I said, I'm really glad that things are legal, but I'm really sad that it's like promoted like this. If you ask people about the Netherlands, the first thing that comes to mind is the drugs and prostitution. And I think that's really, really, really unfortunate because there's so much to offer, especially Amsterdam. They have like beautiful museums, beautiful parks, some, a little bit of culture <laughs> and a little bit of like the Dutch fantasy culture. And people will just focus on those prostitution and drugs things. You can also see what kind of people it attracts. And I don't know, I feel like it's a missed opportunity because like I said, Amsterdam has so much more to offer. And I know the Netherlands is trying to change this image, but I think it will be really hard. When I say I'm a Dutch person, that's the first thing people ask me about is what drugs I use. So it's really unfortunate that we're living in, with this stereotype. Many Dutch people, they don't do drugs because it's normal here. So for us, it's not nothing special. So it's not true that every Dutch person is a stoner. Another thing I don't like, but I think this is common in every big city, is that you have a lot to pay and a lot of bills. Like, it feels like I even need to pay for breathing. I think I got a little paranoid because everything I did was like, oh, are they gonna give me a bill for this? Believe me, you pay for everything in Amsterdam. The rent is also really expensive and the groceries are really expensive. So I felt like it wasn't worth all the money, but it's because I didn't really like the city. But yeah, this is something to keep in mind, it's really expensive. Another thing I don't like is the techno culture. I do like some techno music, but I wouldn't go to techno related parties because it's not really my music style. I prefer more rock music, pop and jazz and those kind of things. Techno music is everywhere in Amsterdam. Recently, I found out about more live music bars. Like Waterhall has live music every night. So if you like live music, go to Waterhall or Light Supply in general because they have like any live music bars, even a jazz bar. Main genre is techno music. And I don't want to say that I hate techno, but I really don't like it. So hearing that every place I go was really, really annoying. Like in Edinburgh, there's still techno, but live music is more dominant. Music is really important when I go out, especially because I don't drink. I'm really glad that I live in a country where techno music is less popular. Another thing I don't like, but I think it's also common in the big cities, is the attitude of the people. Not just locals, but also experts. They think Amsterdam is the best city in the world, and if you don't like it, they think you're crazy. Although they don't realize that many people left Amsterdam in the past. I met some experts that got really moody when I told them I don't like Amsterdam and I'm talking about discrimination. They try even arguing with me. That's one thing I noticed that like they feel like they're better than the rest of the country or the rest of the world. And I don't like that arrogance, but I feel like it's common in more big cities. I even met people that never left Amsterdam and they act like they know the Dutch culture, but I will tell you, if you never left Amsterdam, you never saw the Netherlands. Amsterdam is like a fantasy world for tourists. And if you want to see the real culture, leave Amsterdam and meet Dutch people and see how the real culture are. Another thing I don't like is the unsavory in public transport at night. I love the public transport in Amsterdam, but I don't know why, it might be personal opinion, but I felt really unsafe at night because people were really drunk. They were throwing up in the metros. It was really gross. It was done with the party and I had to go home. I didn't like it because everyone was crazy. So these were the things I liked and disliked about Amsterdam. I want to say that these are my opinions and I have the right to have my own opinions because I know people will attack people when they don't like a city. And I want to say that I think Amsterdam is a wonderful city, but it's just not my city. I think it would work for other kind of people and I'm not that kind of people.
I hope you liked this video. Let me know what you like and dislike about the city you're living in currently. And hope to see you in the next video. Bye!